Hi, and welcome back to Bedecked. I am Rebecca N. Bryan, but you can call me Beck. Today we have another outfits based on book episode. I feel like I haven't done one of these in a while. I just finished this one. I st actually, I started reading this one on my vacation in Madeira Beach, Florida, and then I finished it via audiobook. So today we are talking about the book, Bookshot by the Sea by Denise Hunter. So this is a second chance clean romance and it is set in North Carolina and the main character is Sophie whose dream is to open a bookshop by the sea. <laughs> and um, her love interest Aiden comes back in town for a wedding and as it turns out a storm prevents him from leaving so he ends up sticking around to help her open the shop. Uh, wackiness ensues, you know, complications arise, things like that. Um, but, and of course, it's a romance, so in the end, they fall in love. This is also um, a, I think, I don't know if it's categorized as a Christian book, but it it is. There, I didn't know exactly what to expect for a Christian romance. Um, they do reference prayer a lot and, you know, God's will every so often and I think only one scripture verse is mentioned so I mean if that is something that would attract you to this book if that's a selling point for this book for you an another good reason to pick it up um, if it's not a selling point for you I really don't think it'll take away from the book either so if you're into clean romance this is a nice easy summer read for you today I wanted to kind of use Bookshop by the Sea to come up with some grandma, coastal grandma aesthetic outfits. There are not many out, I don't think there are any clothes mentioned in Bookshop by the Sea, possibly in the wedding scene in the, in the first chapter. But other than that, there really aren't. So I have some things to play with. I'm just going to take the coastal grandma aesthetic, which if you don't know, it's a lot of whites, um, stripes. It's a lot of, things I see in Maine whenever I vacation in Maine. It's a very New England kind of um, beach, beachy aesthetic that you would see. I guess really chic grandma's wearing, but now people of all ages <laughs> are getting into this aesthetic. And by the way, there's also a, another very similar aesthetic called Coastal Cowboy, which is interesting, but we're not gonna broach that today because we are in North Carolina, so wrong coast <laughs> okay yeah i'm just gonna come up with some outfits say where i think they'd belong in the book and go from there okay coastal grandma aesthetic see what we got all right here's look number one for bookshop by the sea and with the coastal grandma aesthetic so this is a hat i borrowed from my husband the shirt is jones new york i can't remember where i got it it's possible I did get this in Maine, I don't remember. And the shoes are L.L. Bean, they're my Birkenstock knockoffs from L.L. Bean. And the pants are from Madewell. I feel like light, flowy colored khakis are pretty much a must in Coastal Grandma. And nothing tight. I feel like Coastal Grandma is all about easy breezy and probably not wrinkly, but you know how it goes around these parts. I could see this as a typical um, everyday outfit for someone in North Carolina um, just chilling visiting a bookstore or opening a bookstore whatever I feel like this one is kind of blurring the lines between New England prep and coastal grandma I think there is some overlap especially in that the fact that white and kind of classic pieces are um, an overlap. I guess the only difference is maybe uh, prep is more, maybe slightly more tailored and Coastal Grandma is slightly more easy breezy, loose and stuff like that. So maybe if I wanted to really amp up the prep in this one, I would put this with a loafer or something. But in this case, I left it with my L.L. Bean sandals. Um, the sweater and the skirt I bought on a previous episode at a boutique in Maine that specializes in New England prep style. And the shirt is one of my many silky shirts from uh, 
Kohl's, it's Nine West. While this is not something I would wear, I could see definitely a wealthy um, coastal grandma wearing <laughs> some version of this while they were um, going for their power walk in the morning, getting a coffee, and then visiting the bookstore. <laughs> So again, blues, white, stripes, a very coastal, very in line with the coastal aesthetic. Um, I can see, I can maybe see Sophie wearing something like this, uh, just casual, running around the house, um, pricing books, whatever, getting her bookshop ready. Maybe it would be a little more coastal if the shorts were more tailored or maybe a linen. These are denim. White denim shorts, obviously they're white. <laughs> These are just denim shorts from, actually they're denim pants from Old Navy that I cut off into shorts. And this striped shirt is from L.L. Bean. I went with white sandals to really mix it up. Um, originally with these white pants, see my white sandals, boop. Uh, originally with these pants, I just had this tank top on, but I wasn't feeling the fitted look with the Coastal Grandma, so I added a long, cozy, drapey cardigan, but lightweight cardigan, which I really think completed the look perfectly. I really like kind of ivory or off-white and white together, if there's enough of a difference that it looks intentional. So yeah, I really liked how this look turned out. I was going to do, I wanted to do a, like a working kind of look with some white overalls, but then I realized I got rid of those white overalls and the overalls I have are like distressed and that just didn't seem very coastal grandma to me. So I wanted to do one dress look so I'm going with this dress that I got. I don't remember where I got it. I'm not sure if this yellow blazer that I just got in my last video at Divine Consign super works with it but maybe it's more southern in general than coastal grandma but maybe this is um coastal grandma goes to church <laughs> we'll go with that the dress definitely works though uh by itself i think for the aesthetic you could wear it by yourself by itself but this dress would also work with the cardigan that would also be very coastal grandma or you could do the white button up over this too so let me try that real quick Oh yeah, I'm liking this. I think you could do it buttoned. You could do it unbuttoned, or you could tie it like the first one over. I think any of those looks would work. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the outfits I came up with for Denise Hunter's Bookshop by the Sea with the inspiration of the Coastal Grandma aesthetic. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up below and consider subscribing and turning on post notifications so you can be alerted right away when a new video goes up. Thank you so much for watching this episode of The Deck. Tune in next week for whatever topic or book I decide to deck out next. Bye!